Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has suggested raising the bar for minimum indigenous content from the existing 50% to 65% for defence platforms under the indigenously designed, developed and manufactured category. The Border Security Force has shot down a Pakistani drone in Rajasthan and has recovered one packet of narcotics worth 12 crore rupees. Indian Army will receive 100 units of Vision 60 High Endurance Quadrupedal Robotic Drone by end of this year. Australian Navy has expressed strong interest in procuring the Varuna Heavy Lift Utility Drone built by India's Saga Defence. Boeing has flown a new version of the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter with upgraded capabilities. Indian Army has won a gold medal at the Cambrian Patrol Competition 2023 International Military Exercise in United Kingdom, in which it competed against 111 teams representing special forces and prestigious regiments from around the world. Safran and DRDO have entered into discussions with Indian defence industry partners to co-develop a new 110 kN engine for the AMCA Mark II program, with the development of an entirely new engine core, which can subsequently be upgraded to 130 kN to meet evolving thrust needs for future sixth-generation fighter jet. Safran and DRDO will share joint intellectual property rights related to the engines, and all components of the engine including its core will be manufactured in India by domestic defence industry partners. The first prototype of Archer NG armed drone will roll out by end of November, and the first test flight will take place within the next six months. It will have a maximum speed of 225 km per hour, an endurance of 24 hours, and 4 hard points to carry a diverse range of weapon systems of up to 300 kg, that includes the 100 km range DRDO saw, 100 km range UAV launched loitering munitions, and UAV launched precision guided munition to target tanks and armored vehicles. Gridbots Technologies has announced that its Titan Battle Tank Destroyer is participating in a tri-service exercise of Indian Army, Navy and Air Force at a classified location. It can operate in manual autonomous and follow me modes, and can autonomously track enemy tanks, and can destroy them in seconds using the 2.5 km range of MOG-3 anti-tank guided missile. After delivering the Bayraktar TB-2 armed drones, Turkey has now supplied Pakistan Air Force with the first batch of Akinsi armed unmanned combat aerial vehicle, that has a range of 7,500 km, endurance of 24 hours while flying at 30,000 feet. It features a high-performance ACER radar, and signals intelligence and electronic warfare modules, and is also armed with air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. Defence Acquisition Council has given its approval for the procurement of 800 light armoured multi-purpose vehicles for the Indian Army, that must be delivered within 36 months from the date of contract signing, for deployment along the northern borders in eastern Ladakh and North Sikkim. It must have a cruising range of at least 400 km on roads, and 200 km in cross-country terrain, and a speed of 80 to 100 km per hour. Today's top 3 comments. 